Inakuwaje karibu sana kwenye segment yetu amazing sana. Na leo tunazungumza kuhusu atheists. Yaani watu ambao wanaamini kwamba hakuna Mungu. Na leo hii tumefanikiwa kuwa na rais wao ambaye ndiye president eh, wa how atheists Kenya hii. Au sio? Kaka, karibu sana. Asante, asante. Nashukuru sana. Nimeshukuru. Eh, kaka Arizon. Anaitwa kaka Arizon. Atajitambulisha zaidi ili tujue zaidi. Karibu tuambie kujusu. Kwa hiyo kwa majina mimi naitwa Harrison Mumia. Mimi ndio rais wa uh, wale wanaoamini kwamba hakuna Mungu. Uh, yani Atheists in Kenya Society. Na tumesajiliwa na serikali ya Kenya na tuko na furaha sana kwamba kuna kikundi cha watu ambacho kuna kikundi cha watu ambacho kinashikilia msimamo kwamba hakuna Mungu na ningependa kusema kwamba wale watu ambao wanashikilia huo msimamo kwamba hakuna Mungu mm-hmm. ningependa wa Kenya wajue kwamba tuko wengi mm-hmm. ni vile watu hawana hiyo hawa, wanajificha watu wamejificha kwa hizi manyumba wenye hawataki kujulikana kwa sababu ya familia hawa wako wengi mm-hmm. lakini naweza kuambia kwamba watu ambao hawa ni Mungu hii Kenya size wako wengi sana na ni, ni, ni jambo nzuri sana kwamba tunaendelea kukua uh, in terms of the numbers tunaendelea kwa wengi mm. uh. na nina maswali kadhaa kaka Harrison kidogo yeah. ambayo tutanajua tuta, utajibu yeah. uh, Mungu ni nani hakuna Mungu <laughs> Hakuna Mungu. Kwa hivyo hiyo swali si, haiwezi jibika. Mungu ni yule Mungu ambayo watu wamekubali kwamba yuko. Wa Biblia, wa Quran, wa Hindu. Lakini tukikuja kwa ile ukweli ambayo mimi niko nayo ni kwamba hakuna Mungu. Sisi wanadamu tuko hapa na tuko hapa kama wanadamu. Tukitoka kwa dunia mwisho yeye inakuwa mwisho. Ukikufa ndio mwisho. Kwa hivyo mambo ambayo yanafanyika kwa hii dunia haya hayana uhusiano mm. na Mungu yoyote. Kwa hivyo hakuna Mungu. Hakuna kuna mungu. wewe, kuna mimi, kuna maji, kuna askari, kuna ngombe, kuna mbuzi. Hakuna Mungu. Hiyo ndio kitu ningependa watu waelewe. Na ikiwa hakuna Mungu, je, ilikujaje kwamba tuseme kwamba wewe unasema hakuna, lakini wengi tunaamini kwamba yupo. Inamaanisha kwamba kitu ambacho kinazungumziwa ama kitu ambacho kipo katika akili za watu kwenye vitabu na maana kwamba ni kitu lazima kiwepo. Ukizungumzia kitu inaweza kuwa pia kumaanisha kwamba kuna watu ambao walinvent. Kuna kuna watu ambao walikuja na hiyo idea. Kwa mfano tukizungumzia kitu kama demokrasia. Demokrasia ilikuwa invented. Kuna watu walisema the best way to elect na ku run government is through democracy. Yaani watu waseme vile wanataka. Hiyo hmm. ikikuwa ati kitu ambayo ati ni ya ukweli. Ni kitu mtu alikuja nayo akasema tunawapia democracy. Hmm. Kwa hivyo ni the same. Mungu ni kitu ambayo watu wamekuwa wakiamini lakini haimaanishi kwamba you, yupo imaanishi kwamba Mungu yupo Mungu ni idea ya watu ambao hawakuwa wanaelewa mambo mengi kwa dunia kwa mfano watu wako wanaelewa vile lightning inatokea vile maji mvua inanyesha vile jua inawaka wakakuja wakasema ah hii mambo yote ni Mungu alileta vile tulizaliwa tunazaliwa tunakuja tunaishi watu wanasema ni Mungu ndio ali, 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 alileta hii maneno yote lakini sisi tumekuja kujua kwamba hakuna Mungu ambaye ameleta maneno yote kwa hivyo sisi tunasema na ningependa kuambia wa Kenya haswa kwamba uh, huyu Mungu ambaye wa Kenya wanaabudu na wakenya wengi wanaabudu Mungu ama wanapenda Mungu ama wana, 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 wanasikia kwamba kuna Mungu huyo Mungu hayuko na wa Kenya ni vizuri wajitoe wa kwa hiyo fikira na waanze kuangalia vitu directly yani leo nikiamka niko na niko na chakula niko na kazi niko na pesa watoto wangu watakula nini hiyo ndio jambo la maana size mambo ya Mungu watu waweke kando ISID ISID chochote sasa ikiwa huamini Mungu ina maana unaamini shetani huko Actually ukiangalia Mungu na Shetani is uh, wako kwa the same WhatsApp group. 
<laughs> Mungu na shetani wako kwa the same WhatsApp. Hao ni watu ambao wamekuwa invented na wanadamu. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba eh, mambo ya Mungu na shetani tuweke kando. Nimesikia wakenya wengi wakisema oh ati mimi napitia shida kwa sababu shetani ndio anafanya shida zangu. Unaenda kwa pasta na kuambia oh hii shida yako ni shetani nataka tuombe Mungu akusaidie. Mungu na shetani ni the same WhatsApp. Wanafaa waepwe kando tuangalie mambo yetu straight. Shida yetu ipo wapi? Tutatatua aje shida. What is the solution to this problem? Mungu asonge kando, shetani asonge kando. Tuangalie vitu ulisikia wetangu la kisema mundu ho mundu. Tunangalia vitu ana kwa ana. Tuache kuweka na ningependa wa Kenya this is a very serious message but it's not even a joke. You know sometimes we take things like joke, eh? On a very serious note, the moment umetoa Mungu na shetani kwa maisha yako, utaanza kuangalia vitu black and white. Utaanza kuona vitu clearly. Hautachanganikiwa ati yo sijapata mtoto kwa sababu kuna shetani ambaye anafanya nizipate mtoto. Sijapata kazi kwa sababu kuna ka shetani mahali kanafanya nizipate. Hapana. Angalia vitu vile ziko. Angalia economy, angalia mambo ya kazi, angalia health yako. Mimi naendanga gym. Naenda gym kwa nini? Kwa sababu nahitaji kuenda kwa gym ndio nikuwe healthy. Na kula chakula yenye inanifaa. Hakuna Mungu wa mashetani ananisaidia kwa hii maisha. Mm. Mm. Na je mwanadamu wa kwanza duniani alikuwa nani? Hakuna mwanadamu wa kwanza katika dunia. Mm-hmm. Ha, hakuna hakuna mwanadamu wa kwanza. Sasa basi tueleze ili kujaji kwamba tukachukuta duniani na tunazidi kuna kukuta. theory evolution. Kuna wakati tulikuwa monkeys, kuna wakati tulikuwa snails, kuna wakati tulikuwa worms, kuna wakati tulikuwa fish. Yaani kuna, kuna wakati tulikuwa kuna wakati kuna... tulikuwa ulikuwa nyani wewe. Kuna wakati tulikuwa kama nyani. <laughs> Hata wewe, kwanza wewe ulikuwa nyani wewe sana. <laughs> so kuna wakati tulikuwa nyani. Kuna wakati na ukiangalia wanadamu ukitembea hapa Tomboya Street. Ukiangalia watu vizuri, you'll see some people looking like you know monkeys Uta, okay, just look carefully utaona watu wanakaa kuna watu wanakaa kama monkeys hivi hiyo unakaribiana na monkeys <laughs> that tells you uh-huh. evolution uh-huh. so there was no first man what happened is tulikuwa tulikuwa kama apes tulikuwa apes na sasa hizi ni apes lakini tulikuwa kama apes na ukiangalia biology biology ime prove that dna yako na ya ape about 98% zinafanana 2% tu ndio zifanani kwa hivyo tumekuwa apes si tumekuwa tu we are just better apes sisi ni monkeys lakini tuko na consciousness monkeys are na consciousness and that is the that is the issue sasa ikiwa iki labda tuli tulitoka kwa kwa apes mm-hmm. kwa monkeys jinsi unaeleza mm-hmm. na je mbona hao monkeys hawajabadilika na kuwa kama sisi labda hao monkeys ama apes wabadilike wawe kama ah, okay angalia theory ya evolution si mambo na monkey kukua human beings mm-hmm. ni kuna kitu inaitwa monkey so sisi dise, sisi tulitoka kwa different uh, ancest, ancestry hatukua monkey tukakuwa human beings hapana mm-hmm. na ninachukua muda mrefu sana for evolution to happen especially from monkey to apes lakini sisi tulikuwa monkey alafu tukakuwa human beings sisi na monkeys tulitoka kwa common ancestor so tulikuwa na common ancestor hiyo common ancestor ika branch moja ikakuwa monkey ingine ikakuja ikakuwa human beings. So kile ningependa kusema hapa ni evolution inachukua muda, especially evolution ya human beings. Unajua kile nataka kuambia evolution bado inafanyika. Wewe ukipata mzungu, upate mtoto na mzungu, atakuwa wa rangi gani? Hata kwa rangi yako, hata kwa black na hata kuwa mzungu, atakuwa nini? Hapo katikati. Hiyo ndio evolution. Evolution ni vile <coughs> Tuna, tunapata a change wewe unapata mzungu anakuwa na mabadiliko Uki, ukikuwa na bibi mfupi mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. na sitaki ukoe na bibi mfupi lakini ukikuwa na bibi mfupi upate mtoto mm-hmm. kuna uwezekano atakuwa mfupi ukikuwa na ugonjwa fulani wewe kama kuna ugonjwa kwa, kwa familia yenu sickle cell mm-hmm. ize za kutransfer through birth 
unaweza pata mtoto wako amekuwa na hiyo ugonjwa so that is evolution yani evolution ni kwamba watu wanabadilika with time you know with time the more you interact the more mnakuwa pamoja hivyo ndio tumefika pale tuko kwa sababu ya hiyo evolution hiyo mm-hmm. watu kubadilika sasa so, hiyo ni evolution nikuulize kuna umesema <coughs> binadamu na apes walikuwa walitoka kwa ancestor moja uje unaweza nieleza huyo ancestor alitoka wapi alitoka kwa ancestor wengine Now ancestors walitoka wapi? Walitoka kwa ancestors. So ile hivi ndio iko. Evolution imechukua muda mrefu sana. Imechukua muda mrefu. So hata tukukua human beings tulikuwa tulitoka kwa the first uh, the first animals walitoka kwa ocean. The first animals tulikuwa kwa ocean. Ndio tukakuja tukakuja kwa land. Kwa land tukachukua time tulikuwa ma worms tukakuwa fish ni, ni kitu mrefu binadamu kwa sababu walikuwa binadamu huko tulianzia huko binadamu hatukua unajua kitambo tulikuwa cells we were just cells and then these cells over time as the environment improved there was sun there was water tuka improve tukafika mahali tuko so ukiangalia okay what is the basic form ya human beings sini cells Ukiangalia what is the one thing yenye tuko common nayo ni cells. One cell iko na iko na nucleus ndani. Tulisoma hii kwa biology. Hiyo nucleus ukienda kwa fish iko na one iko na cells na nucleus. Ukienda kwa plants iko na cells, iko na nucleus. The same thing. Ukienda kwa fish iko na cell iko na nucleus. So we came from that cell ndio tuka tukafika pale tuko. What do I believe in? I believe that if I take fish every day I will be healthy, especially fish with ugali. <laughs> I believe I believe that if I go to the gym mm-hmm. I will be improve my health. I believe that if I get knowledge, if I go to school and learn a few things, inaweza improve knowledge yangu, inaweza nisaidia kupata job na vitu zingine. Na believe that women Right now in Kenya mm-hmm. women should have an education they need rights that women need women need rights mm-hmm. they need to to have rights so i believe in so many things i believe i believe that atheists need to to come out and talk to Kenyans Kenyans wajua kuna atheists i believe in media freedom you know kuna vitu mingi za ku believe ile shida tuko nayo is that uh, a lot of a lot of Kenyans think that the only thing we need to believe in is just human is, is just god but that's not true sasa so, labda so, asan kurudisha nyuma kidogo kwa sababu sasa watazamaji tayari washajua Harrison anazungumza kuhusu nini lakini sasa wanataka kujua Harrison ni nani je wazazi wako ni wa Kristo uh, eh, mamangu ni, ni anapenda Mungu sana mamangu ni Mkristo mamangu alifariki kwa hiyo babangu ayuko okay. uh, alikufa kwa kansa Two years three years ago kansa na, na je uki, ukiwa mdogo ulilelewa katika Ukristo mimi nilelewa katika Ukristo yaje kwamba sasa uka ukabadilika maana uh, Ukristo tunaamini kwamba unajua, unajua mimi vile nilelewa nilikuwa baptized katika Friends Church na nilikuwa baptized kakamega nikamwagiwa maji na mpaka leo najiuliza nilibwagiwa maji kwa nini lakini nilimwagiwa maji <laughs> Nika, nikaambiwa sasa mimi ni kiumbe kipya kiumbe kiumbe kipya unaona mm-hmm. lakini kwa pale nimefika kwa hii maisha yangu nilifikiria nilikuwa university when i was at university nikajiuliza i asked myself is it true that god exists nikafanya research yangu nikaangalia biblia ambayo i was raised in a christian church nilifanya research yangu kwa biblia nikakuja ku realize kwamba biblia yenyewe kuna contradictions kwa hiyo kwa mfano biblia inasema adam and eve were the first human beings lakini ukijiuliza swali mbona Mungu aliumba Adam and Eve akaweka kwa Garden of Eden na akaweka hapo forbidden fruit ati msikule hii fruits wewe kama unapenda mtoto wako unaweza muacha kwa nyumba na kitu ambayo hutaki akule 
sorry. Unaweza kubali mtoto wako akule uh, umweke kwa nyumba na umwambie usikule kitu kama unampenda usitoe hiyo kitu hapo. So swali moja nilijiuliza, mbona Mungu alicreate Adam and Eve akawaweka katika Garden of Eden? Akakubali hapo kukuwa na sijui ni forbidden fruits. Mm -hmm. Alafu anasema ati anatupunish ati wewe kama hawamini mtoto wake anaitwa Yesu ati utachomeka jehanamu huo ni Mungu wa aina gani seriously sasa wewe unani force niamini mtoto wako inanileta hapo na huo mtoto anani, anaingia wapi na maisha yangu <laughs> <laughs> inanileta kwa hili swali uh, kwa sababu kidogo nikiangalia watu ambao hawaamini kwamba hakuna Mungu wamesoma sana jinsi mm. unasema university ndio ulianza mm. kupata yale mawazo wakati ulikuwa labda shule ya msingi secondary labda ulikuwa na yale mawazo je ni kweli kwamba masomo na elimu sana kwanza kuharibu ubongo watu waanze kukataa Mungu Oki 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 kata Mungu imaanisha umesoma sana. Inamaanisha unatumia akili akili zako. Haimaanisha ti lazima kuwa na PhD ndio ukane, ukane Mungu. No inamaanisha uko tu na akili. Hata wewe ambaye huja sasa mimi hujasoma nasema wale ambao hawajasoma. <laughs> <laughs> wale ambao hawajafika photo zako wana degree ama wana masters uh -huh. hao pia wanaweza fika the same conclusion mm -hmm. you just need to be logical mm -hmm. kwa mfano hebu nikuulize nataka kuuliza swali ukiangalia okay, biblia inasema kulikuwa na jamaa anaitwa Jonah alimeza alimezwa na samaki Jonah akakaa kwa samaki ndani ya tumbo ya samaki siku tatu akatoka kama yuko hai hiyo ni story ya ukiangalia vizuri kuna mtu anaweza tu kaa ndani ya samaki siku tatu na atoke kama yuko hai ni miujiza wewe uamini kwamba hakuna miujiza hakuna miracles hakuna miracles sasa hiyo ndio shida wewe hujaona hata kwenye runinga hiyo kuna miujiza hizo ni miracles kuna watu wanapelekwa kwanga church wanaambiwa fanyeni hivi ila tunajua what happens and then mfanye hivi alafu unapata mtu anasema ationa huyu anatembea 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 <laughs> Ati natembea, ametoa sijui clutches So ile kitu natawe kukwambia ni Tunajua the tricks The churches use Ati kwenyesha ni miujiza Kama ni miujiza mbona saizi kuna watu hospitali Hakuna pasta ni shayona Hakiingia kwa hospitali Hakiambia wagonjwa Nataka tuombe na wewe Na upone Mizi jaya yona Na unanga tu wakenda kwa crusade Na uko crusade wameleta watu wao kufanya hizo He's acting Ndi kama who acts kuna swali linalisumbua mama yuko hai si bi mm. mama anachukuliaje msimamo wako kwa sababu yeye ni mkristo amekubali kwa sababu mimi akiniangalia mimi sina sina ubaya na ye. kama ni kumsaidia na msaidia na hiyo ni kitu important kwa mama zetu yani kwamba wewe unaweza saidia mama yako yeye akiniangalia haangalii huyu ni atheist anaangalia huyu ni mtoto wangu na huyu mtoto wangu ananisaidia nikitaka kumkuongea na yeye naongea na yeye ni mtoto ambaye ni mzuri hana maneno mengi ipo Mama mm. mimi nakuambia nakuombea. Hapa lakini atukaange kwa hiyo hiyo discussion sana. Kwa sababu yeye anajua mimi ni atheist. Ndio anaomba lakini sitakange tu discuss. <coughs> Hatuongeangi maneno ya maombe sana. Na wewe huu unaomba. Mimi sasa mimi niombe nani? Maombi na nisaidia aje, mimi siombe Kwa hivyo, hakuna kitu kama maombi kwa kwa Mimi sijawai Mimi sijawai, hakuna maombi, hakuna ibada Sisi atheist, hatuna Hati mtu ambaye Tunamuliza Wewe ni mungu, ama wewe ni mtu wetu Sasa tusaidie Sisi atheist, tunakata mambo ya mungu Hakuna inaishia na mambo ya shetani Haa watu hawa exist So tunasema tuangalie maisha openly Maisha ni nini, na hako ndio tunaka Kwa hivyo Hatuna kanisa, hatuna ibada, hatuna maombi, hatuna rituals, hatuna atukaangi chini tunasema sasa leo ni siku ya kusoma hii kitabu. Hatuna kitabu ya atheist hata sasa tutafungua Luke chapter 10 ya atheist inasema hivi. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Tuna encourage Kenyans kuishi maisha yao. What is maisha? Hiyo ndio kitu kingine ningependa kusema. Sisi tuki kama atheist, maisha ni nini? Maisha ni ukiamka asubuhi. What is it you supposed to do? Ndiyo siku yako ikue. Are you working well? Are you making money? Saizi maisha mekua about money. Are you healthy? Health is very important. Education mekua very important saizi. Unaona? Kama hizo vitu hauna health, hauna pesa, hauna education, maisha yako itakua mzuri. Kwanzi hapo ni uneza safanya vitu zingine. Hata kuowa. Hata ukitaka mtoto, you have to be healthy. You have to have money. Hapo pa kuowa. Umawa. Mimi sijawa. 
Je una mpango wa kuoa? Sina mpango wa kuoa. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu mambo ya ya, ya kuoa sio ni kama lazima kila mtu awe kwa na pia mimi napenda kuishi peke yangu. Sitaki kusumbuliwa na bibi kwa nyumba. Na usumbuliwe na hisia labda mwanaume jinsi Kama kuna hisia si kuna apps. Si kuna dating apps. Alafu sasa unaenda huko una unaangalia angalia. Ikipata uh -huh. mtu hapo <laughs> na akikubali kukuja kwa nyumba yako <laughs> si anakuja kama <laughs> inakuwa <laughs> Unajua kuna kitu moja ningependa kusema hapa. Mambo ya ndoa ningependa kusema pia si lazima kila mtu aoe. Mambo ya hisia ni kwamba tuna tuko 2023. Watu ambao bado wanafikiria lazima ukue kwa ndoa ndio usota out maneno ya hisia. I don't agree with them. In 2023 there's something called uh, sexual revolution which means sex has become very common. Yaani siki tu yenye ilikuwa kitambo ati yo umekuwa na sex na mtu sasa hapana. Sasa hizi tuko 2023. Ukiamua kukuwa na sex na mtu, unakuwa na sex na mtu. Inaisha hivyo. So, mimi sichukuli yangu hizo vitu kama serious na ningependa watu pia wasikue serious sana hizo vitu. Kwa sababu inaleta shida mingi sana. Hmm. Na ati bibi yako ameenda amelala na mtu. Ushai ushai kwa labda na mwanamke ambaye akakwambia anakupenda alishinishia kwa naye lakini ningeacha na hiyo maneno ya mapenzi mimi sitaki kupendwa mkataa ulimkataza sitaki maneno ya mapenzi mimi saizi mimi nataka kuishi maisha yangu <laughs> nitafute pesa yangu na nijiendeleze hii mapenzi by the way mimi naonanga tu ni scam lakini watu wengi wataki kukubali sasa unapenda mtu ya nini unajua kuna mtoto wa mtu mahali hapa anakuona hivi yani hamsambui La, lakini huyo huyo ashughulike sasa wewe si ashughulike na maisha yake unajua kama unaona mimi ni handsome tafuta pesa hmm. shughulika na maisha yako wacha niwaambie kitu saa hizi vile mimi nimeona hii maisha vile iko Hizi maneno za kitabu tulikuwa tunaekewa ati kufika umri fulani lazima uoe utafute bibi utafute bwana. Sasa hizi hata ukioa na hata hauna job inasaidiaje? Ukioa na you cannot take care of your family how does it help? So mimi nimesema hivi. Ndoa is not even a must these days. Si lazima. Na mimi sijaoa kwa sababu pia sitaki kuleta mtu kwa nyumba alafu nianze kumstress. Unajua kuna kitu wanaume wanafanyanga sana. Unaona unakatia demo kwa nje unamwambia maneno matamu. Akifika kwa nyumba unaanza kuangalia tena huko nje. Unajua hii maneno tunajua. Na ndio maana marriage size they are not working. People are not serious. It's better to be mumia not to marry than to marry and lie to yourself and your and and, and others. Hapo watoto wa mejai Kenya. What ni wangu ndiwafanyie nini? I don't want. Shazaeka unahitaji watoto pale. Unajua unajua watoto ukienda hapa hii Nairobi nikitamua tu kuchukua mtoto hii Nairobi saizi kumlea I can do that. Juu wako wengi wenye wanahitaji tu wewe tupata mtoto mdogo umchukue umpeleke shule uongee na mama yake mama yake haezi lea mtoto and if you are a good hearted person usomeshe tu mtoto kama mtoto wako na watakuwa na watashukuru na watanelea na maisha yake na this is what we should do hii country tunajaza watoto wa mama wanazaa wakipeleka watoto wapi there are no jobs the economy is bad me have said the population right now hii kuzaza hii the problem we are having <laughs> we are too many tutaki tuzane tusizane can you take a pause Two years watu waache kuzaa tu to, to sort out hizi mashida tuko nazo two years, two years wa mama wa mama waache kuzaa two years manze like this is tuko na shida kubwa sana hii Kenya because unaona kama sasa unapata tunazaa tunazaa alafu 10 years from now unasema oh serikali ya SID what are we doing as a country tuache kuzaa sawa to sort out issues zetu je unaamini kwamba kuna kitu kuna blessings na kuna kuna kasi hakuna blessings hakuna hakuna blessings hakuna kasi amka asubuhi if something happens to you yenye ni mbaya kubali imefanyika ukigongwa na gari si kasi umegongwa na gari <laughs> Na je, kuna uchawi. Okay, ukipata kazi hakuna uchawi. Hizo ndio vitu zenye hakuna uchawi. Hoje mimi natoka kaka. Sisi mtu ananyongwa na mapepo labda anapiga nduru kabisa katika ndoa. Unajua jozi niliona ati kuna ati uki, ati ukilala na ati bibi ya mtu. Ati mnabaki mmesitik eh, mmekwama mme pamoja. Hiyo eh. ni acting. That they act. <laughs> ah jamaa wanatuaktia huku nje. There is no way unilala na mtu alafu ukwame. Like <laughs> 
hakuna hakuna kitu kitu wana nyuki wakiwa wamevamia ati nyuki imevamia nilisoma hiyo story nikaambiwa ati kumbe hiyo pia kuna video wanafanyanga hiyo story there is a way they frame it because nyuki as we know them nyuki azinanga haja na ati kufuata mtu unless umezisumbua hiyo ndio nyuki vile tunajua ukienda kusumbua nyuki ndio itaanza kuku na ita itakaa ikuje ikae hivi itakuuma na iende hata zija kuumanga zinakufa nyuki ikikudunga hivi inakufa so is this story by the way si ukweli na but tunajua wakenya wengi wana hawawezi fikiria hivyo mtu wa mtu wa kifa mtu wa kifa si tunaamini kwamba kuna maisha baada ya kifa mm. je unaamini mtu wa kifa anaenda wapi ama nafsi okay, ya kifa na kuna nafsi uko wewe you just a body na uko na hewa una breathe uko na uh, uko na life after ukisha kufa that is it utazikwa mwili yako itakuwa inaitwaje itaanza kukua decomposed utakuwa ni kama ushai huu wa umbo ama panya ama insect ukiweka kwa kwa kwa, kwa nini sina decompose to it's the same thing once you die unazikwa unaanza kudecompose maisha yako inaishia hapo ile manure inatoka hapo inasaidia plants nini nini kama kuna worms watakukula bacteria hivyo inaenda hivyo <laughs> mbona mimi sijui mbona watu wanafikiria oh nikikufa naenda mbinguni nikikufa naenda wapi na hakuna soul ati nyinenda mahali kuna imani kwamba tuna tunaogopa kutenda dhambi mm. pia utatueleza sin dhambi kama unaamini kwamba iko hakuna dhambi kwamba tukifa kuna hukumu kuna judgment mm. maana inatuelekeza nisifanye hii nifanye hii mm. mbaya mm. mm. je hebu ni, niambie kuhusu kwamba unajua unajua uh, kwanza hakuna dhambi dhambi ni kitu kililetwa na wale watu walileta biblia kutupea ile uoga ati wewe ni mwenye dhambi unahitaji Yesu So watu sasa ni wa Kristo kwa sababu hiyo dhambi ime, imekuwa portrayed ni kama kitu mbaya. Ukifanya kitu mbaya, polisi atakuja akuchukue. Kama ni against the law, polisi wata deal nayo. That's it. Hakuna dhambi. Kuna watu kwa mfano kuna vitu zingine zikifanyika si mbaya na si nzuri. Kwa mfano ukipigana na mtu ambaye amekuja kukuvuruga kwa nyumba yako ama anataka kuhati wa family members, anataka kuhati bibi yako. Ukipigana na wewe mtu ni dhambi gani umefanya ama ni makosa gani umefanya? Inaitwa self defense. Kwa hivyo dhambi na kuna wakati wewe uki, nini nikiita niki ukiemploy uki mtu kwa kwa ukiemploy mtu kwa nyumba yako na aibe mkate na huyu ni mama na yuko na mtoto ameiba mkate mkate mmoja hapo maybe ulikuwa na, alikuwa anakuja kuosha kuosha nguo achukue mkate apelekee mtoto wake amefanya dhambi gani mtoto yuko na njaa hiyo si uwizi akachukua bila rusa lakini ukiangalia tu vizuri anasaidia mtoto mdogo kwa hivyo hakuna ukiangalia tu vizuri hiyo kitu uwe pia ni kama hata hiyo uwizi imemsaidia tu kwa hivyo hiyo si dhambi kile tunajaribu kusema ni hii mm. maneno ya right and wrong have nothing to do with sin that's what i'm saying so there's no sin uh, there's no sin we just have things which everybody thinks are right mm. and, and wrong and that's it so uh, turudi kidogo kwa creation mhm hebu nieleze hii dunia sababu so we believe kuna supreme being hapo juu kuna Mungu ambaye anatuzidi alitumba sisi aliumba dunia na mbingu. Je, unaamini kwamba kuna kuna Mungu hapo juu aliumba ama tueleze ikiwa kuna Mungu hii dunia ilikujaje tukuepo na hivi milima, misitu tumepata. Kuna big bang theory uh, ambayo ningependa uangalie. Big bang inamaanisha kuna pale there was an explosion that happened. According to scientists wasema kulikuwa na explosion yenye ilifanyika kitambo billions of years ago ndio ikaleta hizi maneno zote planets earth sun stars so just look at the big bang theory mm, ni explosion ya kulipuka tu na dunia kulikuwa na kulipuka fulani ilifanyika but atujui before that what existed atujui lakini mtu ambaye pia aliandika hiyo hana hana ushahidi kwamba labda kulikuwa na kwa sababu hapo hapo no 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 ni research maneno ya research ni different na kuandikwa ni mtu amerisearch akaangalia vitu kwa kwa ukamili akaangalia kulikuwa na explosion wakati mmoja hiyo ni research ya science ambayo hatuwezi ongea kwa urefu saizi just understand that scientists believe kulikuwa na big bang theory and that was the first thing that happened before everything came into existence na unaamini katika science 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 is, science is a very good way of uh, uh, understanding the world mm. na huu 
uone kwamba labda saanzi imekuja kwa dunia kwa sababu ndio inaleta vitu vibaya vibaya tu mabomu inaleta silaha hizo mbaya mbaya na kudanganya watu science si mbaya science imetusaidia kujua diseases zinatoka wapi na mambo mengi mengine where are we getting kama kama we ni mgonjwa ukaenda kuchukua panadol unaumwa na kichwa hiyo ni science ukaenda kuna daktari hiyo ni science hata hizi simu tunatumia ni science kwa hiyo science imetusaidia sana in fact i think bila science tukikuwa tuko nyuma sana tukikuwa tuko nyuma sana tukikuwa tuko nyuma sana kama binadamu mm. tukikuwa tuko backward kuna kitu mimi naamini kwamba ndani ya ndani ya kila mwanadamu kuna kitu kinaitwa imani you believe unaamini katika kitu fulani ama faith do you have that in your, in your life kuna kitu kama faith ama belief no unaishi kila siku you work hard only through working hard will you get what you're supposed to get get knowledge kwa sababu sasa hizi knowledge ni important if you want to learn a skill learn it yeah so sasa hizi atuko kwa maneno ya faith sasa hizi amka asubuhi ask yourself what can i do to help myself health nimesema kitu kwanza ni health your health knowledge knowledge is very important yeah so once you have knowledge and you have good health you know a lot of other things be positive in life jua usikue kila saa oh mbona mbona kunaenda hivi jipe motisha nitafanya hivi nitafanya hivi nitafanya hivi so good health positive mindset you know knowledge itakusaidia kwa maisha kuliko faith 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 is not a good uh, thing faith will never help you Uh, does it mean that uh, in my house you have the, the Bible? Oh, they, I do have a Bible in the house, yeah. But you mean I have it for reference. Na kwanga TikTok sana. So sometimes to can discuss man man ni to TikTok na ingia kwa Biblia kuonyesha watu how bad God was, how crazy the Bible is. Hii maneno ya ati Yesu alitembea kwa maji. We discuss all these things ndio tuonyeshe how ridiculous how crazy the bible is as a book so lazima utumie biblia kutoa watu kwa hii hii religion lazima utumie biblia lazima biblia ndio tunatumia kutoa watu kwa hii unaweza kuna watu wanao kuja kurudi sijarudi kwa miaka ngapi sasa hii ni miaka ngapi hii ni miaka karibu ya 10 10 15 the years that you are there Christian Ukisha toka kwa Christianity kurudi ni ngumu sana. Kutoka kwa Christianity ukurudi ni ngumu. Ile ujinga iko huko, utarudi aje huko. <laughs> Unajua ukisha toka kwa maneno ya Christianity hii maombi, blessings, Bible, heaven, hell, the devil. Hiyo mambo yote ukiangalia vizuri, kurudi huko ni ngumu. Sasa mimi nianze kurudi huko nianze kuambia Mungu, Mungu nisaidie sina kazi. Oh Mungu nisaidie nipate ni promotion hapana hiyo siwezi sasa hivi najua maisha ni unaangalia maisha unafanya kile unafaa kufanya kwa hivyo kwa mna chambua tu biblia labda na vitabu vingine mm. ili kuvikosoa na kuambia watu jinsi wa eh, lazima tukosoe biblia kwa sababu hiyo kitabu imepoteza wa Kenya sana so we use the book that is the book we are going to use our vision is to have a country where people actually stop believing that there is a god who created them a long time because you know Kenyans uh, most Kenyans they, they have refused to change unajua shida ya Kenya ni once you grow up as a Christian most Kenyans don't see another way of of living you know maybe you are uh, not maybe Kenyans are into God because they know God has helped them There is nobody God has helped. It, the, what is happening is kila mtu anapitianga good things na bad things. So kama unapitia something good is not God. If you think going through something bad is not the devil. That's the most important thing. Tumekuwa na Harrison uh, Rice president wa watu wote wanaoamini kwamba hakuna Mungu katika mungu. nchi yetu na ameeleza hisia zake, maoni yake na kauli zake kuntu kuhusiana na swala zima la atheists na tunashukuru na kufikia hapo hatuna budi ila tu kumuomba Harrison kwamba atueleze kitu kimoja tu ambacho kimekuwa kikinisumbua wewe huogopi kwamba Mungu anaweza kuadhibu kwa kusema kwamba hayupo kwa sababu ukweli ni kwamba kakuumba wewe no ukiangalia Mungu kwanza hayuko utaadhibiwa uta na mtu mwenye hayuko <laughs> how does that even work So tuanzie hapo Mungu hayupo ataniadhibu aje. 
Haya, hivyo ndivyo tunafunga. Tunashukuru usikoso kusubscribe kwenye channel yetu pale YouTube na pia kwenye ukurasa wetu wa Facebook. Ya, hivyo ndivyo tunafunga, hivyo ndivyo tunamaliza. Kila siku, kila saa hii hiki ndicho kituo cha updates nzuri nzuri, wa news nzuri nzuri, kauli nzuri nzuri, mahojiano na mawasiliano ambayo yanafaa katika jamii. Au sio? Zidi kutufuatilia na hivyo ndivyo tunamaliza tunasema adios.